Hi, I'm just looking at perspective. The I'm just looking at perspective, and we're going to be going over the Doctor 2300 system, uh, all the functions and um, features, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So within the box, you're going to have another box, which is going to be your carrying case or your travel case for your e-collar system. Uh, all this is, of course, for you to keep. Um, every system comes with a user manual uh, for that particular model. So this one's for the 2300 expandable. And then inside the box, we have um, our transmitter, the remote, our receiver, the collar, uh, your charging, uh, your power charger, and then this tool here, which is to help you uh, determine if your collar has uh, current in case you're having any issues with your collar, uh, you can use that tool to test that it's actually still functioning correctly. So this is a three quarter mile range system, fully waterproof, uh, both the transmitter and the receiver. So if your dog is swimming, this is perfectly fine to have on them. We just wanna make sure that if our dog is gonna get wet or be in the water, that our, where we charge the collar here, is closed okay so this tab you want to make sure that that is fully closed here like that uh, this helps keep the water out same thing on the remote on the back there's a tab uh, if we go to open it that's where we would charge the collar and in the back you want to make sure we keep that closed okay so the doctor 2300 system is meant for about a 70 pound dog and under um, so i could put this on my eight pound chihuahua it would be perfectly fine it just might be a bit bulky on his neck, okay? Uh, so whenever your trainer recommends a specific collar for you, uh, or if they might give you a couple of choices, but then they'll give you the difference in bet between the two collars, is um, you always wanna make sure that you get a collar that your trainer recommended you, because many times clients will do their own research and the, the, the you know, let's say the dog's website may say one thing, but in actuality it's another. You know, we use these tools day in, day out. It's every day for us. So we see this stuff all the time. So like we may have a 25 pound dog, but recommend that they be on a Doctra 2300, okay? Instead of the Doctra um, 280C, which is meant for their size. Uh, so people get confused with that, not understanding why their dog would need such a large collar or high power collar or a higher powered collar. It's because we're always factoring in the variables of um, the thickness of their coat, how long is their fur, are we dealing with any behavioral issues? Is, is it an anxious dog? Is it a highly reactive dog? What breed is the dog? Um, all those things factor in whenever we give anybody a recommendation. So do keep in mind uh, and, and uh, purchase the collar that your trainer recommended for you, okay? So I'm gonna break down the different functions and applications of the Dr. 2300 system. So here we have a blue button on the side. Uh, it says display on off uh, right there. And then we have this button above our screen here. So this is our screen. This is decoration. This is the vibration button. And up top, we have a switch here, up and down for dog one, dog two, uh, because this system is capable of being upgraded to a two dog system. Init originally, uh, when this system was created, it was either a one dog system or a two dog system. There was no in between. So if you bought one dog and then bought another dog, you'd have to buy a separate system for that dog. So then you had two remotes for two collars. And then they had the system of one remote, two collars. Uh, but there was no way to upgrade one, the single dog to a two dog. So now it's they're always sold as a single dog, but it can be upgraded to a double dog. So all you need to do is purchase one collar, okay? Which is I have to display here, okay? So this is an additional receiver. It has a different color strap as well. Um, so if I wanted to make this a two dog system, I just need to buy an additional receiver, pair it to my system, and now I have a two dog system, okay? Currently, it's only a one dog system. So we have, again, our LED screen, uh, decoration button, um, dog one, dog two. And on the side, we have the NIC function, uh, um, displayed as a bumpy N, and then a smooth button for continuous, okay? So NIC and continuous. On top, we have a dial. 
uh, clockwise goes up, counterclockwise goes down on the collar. So to turn this on, we're gonna press and hold that blue button, like that. And then that turns our remote on. And then to turn our collar on, on the back we have a red button right there. And then we have another red button here. We're gonna to touch those together uh, like this. And then give us a green light here. And I'm gonna hit my pager function. And you can see that it's vibrating. So that tells me that this collar is on, okay? So I've always taught my clients that when you're gonna turn your collar on and off, do make sure to hit the vibration function just to double check that it's actually on and or off, okay? Because what happens sometimes is that owners will do a quick tap on the collar like this and it's still on. So here we have the red light, still on, red light, still on. Because to turn it off completely, you have to hold it for a second. Now it's officially off. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, so if I do a quick red light, but it's still on, but if I hold it for a second, now it is actually off, okay? So a tiny little detail, but it means a lot. So what would happen is people would be in a rush, think they turned the collar off, saw the red light, put it, come back from work, and the, act, the collar is actually on all day. So then the, the collar is either die quickly, or because the collar was already on, when they would go to touch the red dots, they would actually turn their collar off. So then they, when they would walk outside to walk their dog, the collar would actually be turned off, okay? So always double checking with your system uh, using the vibration function, both when you turn it on and when you turn it off, okay? Let's say you turn your collar on, you hit the vibration function and the collar just stops vibrating as you do so. Maybe you ran out of battery, maybe something's wrong with the collar, maybe we forgot to charge it. Um, number of things that we can figure out simply because it's not vibrating when we press that button, okay? If we're training a dog, and our numbers are abnormally high, and you know we don't see a contraction or, or anything like that, we can grab the collar, hit the vibration function to test whether or not it is actually on, okay? So, uh, going over the buttons here, uh, this has a backlight blue LED screen, so if I press this button, it turns the LED screen on. So now that it's on, whenever I move or change my levels, it should trigger and turn on my uh, uh, settings on my e-collar here, okay? So this caps all the way up to 127, and then it comes all the way down to zero, okay? As you can notice, there's also an, a little battery signal right there. That battery is for the life of the remote, not the life of the collar, okay? Two separate things. Uh, a lot of people get that confused, and they think the battery is for the collar as well. That's not the case, two separate batteries. This is indicated by green for fully charged, orange for running low, um, red charge me now. And same thing for this one, there's a green, orange, and red light as well. However, there's also a visible battery life signal or symbol on the LED screen. So if we go back to the side button, press it, that turns the collar on, okay? And if I press it again, oh, not the collar, it turns the light on, it turns it off, okay? So if it's late at night and you can't see the levels of your collar, you don't have to press the button or anything like the nick function or turn it. You just simply hit that on off button really quick and it'll turn that light on or off. If I press and hold that button, that's how I turn my system off. And if I press it again, I turn my remote on, okay? So the quick tap only does the backlight, but the long hold will actually turn off the remote itself. Uh, you do not have to have the remote on in order to turn on the collar. They're two separate things. Uh, all you need to do is touch the red dot to the red dot. Whether this is on or off, it will still turn on the remote. Uh, I prefer to turn the remote on, then the collar, so I can test the vibration, and turn the collar off and then the remote, because then I can, again, test the vibration before I turn this off, um, before, after I turn this off, to double check that I did do so correctly, okay? So here, uh, so we have the LED screen, uh, we have the dial clockwise goes up, counterclockwise goes down. We have the pager function. So if I wanted to have, this was connected to a second dog, if I flip this switch and I press the button, that would stimulate that collar over there, okay? Uh, if I go to dog one, it would stimulate the collar that I have here. This is dog one, and then the second strap would be that one, that would be dog two, okay? Now, there is no way to do respective levels per dog with this system. So if one dog is trained on a 40 and another dog is trained on a 20, you'd have to make sure that you go up and down on the collar. Uh, otherwise, both dogs are gonna be tapped at the current setting that's displayed on your screen. 
On the side, of course, we have the nick and continuous function. Nick is a pre-time stimulation, so even if I hold that button down, nothing's gonna happen after the initial tap. And with continuous, as long as I hold that button down, the dog's gonna feel some kind of stimulation until I let that button go, up to 12 seconds. Um, so those are all the functions of the collar. So now, let me demonstrate how the testing tool works. All right, so I have my connection device here. Okay, I'm gonna take the device and put it on these two. It's got a better hold, there we go. Like that, okay, so it goes over where the probes are. I'm gonna turn the light off to help give a better display. Okay, so I have this maxed out. And you can see when I hit the nick function, how it stimulates the light. So even if I hold that button down, after I press it, nothing happens. Okay, with the continuous function, if I do a quick tap, you can see how it's a little bit longer than the nick function. Okay, so it's a little bit more punchier. But also, if I hold it down, stimulation will be delivered to the dog the entire time that I'm holding this button down. Okay, then when I let it go, uh, it turns off, and when I hold it, it goes on again. And this will go on for up to about 12 seconds but it will automatically turn off once 12 seconds have been reached and you have to repress the button again in order to re-deliver continuous stimulation or nick stimulation. So that turned off but my hand finger is still on the button and now I let it go. So again, quick press of the button, a little bit longer, a little bit more punchier. The nick function, even if I hold it down, nothing happens after the initial tap, okay? So this device is, is so that you can test to see if your collar is working. So if you're training your dog, the vibration is working, but it's not delivering stim, you're at 100 and nothing's happening to your dog and you have good, con and you know you have the collar fitted correctly, um, I would go grab my test tool, turn it on, or, or, and then you know try this, and if it wasn't working, you would not see any light turn on from the device here, okay? So that's what that's meant for. Other than that, it's pretty much it for the Doctor 2300 system. Again, meant for 70 pound dogs and under. It's a medium to high powered collar. Um, also expandable to a two dog system if you ever plan on getting another dog in the future. This is a great collar to consider so you don't have to commit to two up front. Um, you can always grab the second one when you're ready with that second dog. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm Jesse with Canon Perspective, and thank you for watching.